I have this fish fabric, okay? That is the right side. But I also have another piece of very plain fabric. It's kind of like a sheet or like a um, pillowcase maybe. And I put them both together and I want to line them up as best I can. Okay, so I've got them all nice and lined up. Now, I cut out that square that I made. That's eight inches by eight inches. Okay, and I'm gonna put it on my fabric. All right, boys and girls, when I pin two pieces of fabric together, this is what I'm talking about. I have the fish fabric on the bottom. Now I'm gonna take my pin and I'm gonna put it in sideways. Can you see that, how I'm putting it in sideways? I'm gonna pick up the top layer and the bottom layer, and then I keep it straight and I push this so that it comes through. Now you can see that I've pinned both of those together. So here you can see I've pinned my paper two times to my fabric, okay? I'm just gonna pin it so that it stays in place. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna carefully cut it all out. So again, I'm gonna pin both layers and the paper together. And I pin them all the way around, then that way I know where to cut. Now, when we cut, I have to tell you, scissors are important. Uh, I have these scissors from my mom. Hang on a minute. They are really fabric scissors. So uh, up to you. I'm gonna, these are paper scissors. I can use them both, but I have to keep my fabric flat when I cut. And then I'm just going to cut all the way around the pattern. And I am going to switch to my good fabric scissors. So here we go. I'm just going to cut all the way around this pattern. I want to keep it flat on the table, but I want you to see, I'm just cutting off the fabric where it's showing. Whoop, I got a little pin that's Okay, so now you can see that I cut my fabric out. My pins are still attached. I can go ahead and pull these pins out. We're gonna use them in just a second. So I just go through and I pull these pins out. I can use my pattern for later if I wanna make another one. That's what's cool about it. I have it, it's already measured. So then I don't have to worry about it. So I take these pins out. That was not too hard, but now in order to do the next step, this gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to take my fish fabric, and this is the right side, remember? And I'm gonna flip it upside down so that the wrong side is showing. So now I have the fish fabric on the wrong side, and I have my plain fabric on the back side. If I have another fabric with a pattern, I would want it so that both of the patterns were touching, both of the right sides. We want the right sides to the inside, and I'll show you why in just a second. Um, we're going to pin these together. So we're going to pin these sides together. Okay, you can see I've pinned the fabric here on the top and I've pinned the fabric here on the bottom. The two right sides are together. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to we're going to sew this.